Hello there lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to be looking at, well, what else? I'm of course going to be looking at the very best in Joy-Con Switch grip things. The very best in Nintendo Switch Joy-Con grips for use on their side. We're only going to be looking at sideways for this one because otherwise there'd be too many to talk about and also I'm not made of money. Now we're not going to be looking at every single one available on the market for varying reasons. For example, this one that looks like this, um, simply put the triggers don't line up with the buttons so the triggers simply don't work that seemed pretty poor. So anyway, first of all, we're going to keep it really simple with the standard thing, the sort of the wrist strap that comes with the Joy-Cons and the Switch when you get it. Now, this is a fairly simple way of using it. I mean, to be honest, it's fine, but it's not very comfortable because you've got this bit jutting out here for a start and the triggers are kind of, you know, just sort of, they're fine. I keep calling them triggers. They're really just shoulder buttons and it's fine, but honestly, it really is the most basic you can get. And if you're in a pinch, it works fine and it's more comfortable than just using it without anything on there. But even so, really, it's, it's pretty basic. So, you know, we'll just gloss over that one but we wanted to include it because we like to be thorough now moving on to the far more interesting avenues is the geotech i can't even well i think they're just called like switch duo controller grip things basically they look like this and uh, if we take the joy con out of here you can see that is indeed it is geotech good i was worried i'd forgotten the name of the company these have a somewhat unusual design in the sense that you have to l essentially load the joy con in if i can do it correctly need to make sure that this is the right one yes it is you need to load it in like that and then this sort of comes down and then it clips in so then the Joy-Con will not move out of there. So that is a good thing, but it is kind of a fiddle to get in and out. But when you're actually using it, it's pretty good. You know, it's it's fairly comfortable. It gives you much more of a sort of a, a handle for your hands to sort of sink into like that. Although obviously it would be the other way around because you can't really play games like this. Um, the buttons on the top are fine. They're very similar in many regards to the ones that you get on the standard wrist strap that you get with your Switch, um, except for their concave. So your fingers sort of sit in them more naturally. And there's a little bit Bit less travel on them which we like and apart from that yeah i mean they're fairly straightforward not hugely cheap and it's 15 pounds for two of these at the time of buying and the time of recording so uh not that great and uh in terms of price at least but apart from that yeah you know they're, they're fine you know it's about the benchmark for what you'd expect for joy con grips biggest design flaw for this is the fact that it is so thin now i know this is probably to make it easier to transport and things like that but realistically if you're gonna try and design something to be comfortable to use you want to make it comfortable for, to use and for big hands like mine mine aren't even absolutely gigantic but they're fairly big these your hands sort of feel like they want to go somewhere where there isn't so you just sort of find yourself gripping nothing so it's sort of it's it's fine but it does it just feels like it needs to be a little bit chunkier to be honest another bit of a weird thing is the fact that for some reason there is a left and right specific version of this grip the um, left joy con will not go in both and the right joy con will not go in both you get one of each and one says has an r at the top the other one has an l so only one will go in one way round. i think it's something to do with the way that the uh the triggers up here are aligned because they are sort of directly above and so it's different for each you know joy con depending whether it's left and right so um that's a bit of a shame considering we've seen other joy con grips that we're about to get into that have found a way around this and so moving on to the official nintendo switch joy con wheel doodad thing the mario kart thing basically now this is probably the nicest in terms of build quality that we're going to look at today and uh, it's got these lovely big triggers at the back so nice and big you can fit either kind of joy con in here but it just depends where in you know in the thing you put it it's uh, on the right for the left joy cons and on the left for the right joy cons just to keep things simple out of the box though the shoulder buttons do have far too much travel on them however i have adjusted them with the use of some sort of like a uh, sticky foam and uh, so you get a little bit less movement in there a lot less travel and uh, makes it a lot more comfortable still not perfect though because uh, if you have to modify a controller that's that's not good nevertheless it's probably something that doesn't affect people too much and i think on the whole people probably won't notice but for me it was a big deal breaker um everything else about the controller you know sort of it's comfortable high quality build only thing again your fingers don't know where to go if you've got big hands if you wanted to use it as like a wheel and especially if you've got smaller hands if you uh, if you're a child or you own a child well, <laughs> well maybe if you have a child would probably make more 
sense, um, then it's probably absolutely fan dabby dozy. But for bigger hands, again, you know, so the whole thing about the Joy-Con grips is that for bigger hands, this is too small. It's just too small. Your, your hands, you know, the bottom of your hands just want to go somewhere and there's nowhere for them to go. So really not addressing the issue. Having said that, though, I would say on the whole, this one is probably marginally more comfortable than the Geotech ones. I do think that the trigger thing is a big problem, but if you're going on sheer comfort, I would say this one just has the edge on that, even though your fingers don't really know where to go. They sort of, you can sort of put them down here, but it's, 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 it's not really very good. It's, it's better to use as a wheel which is kind of what it's designed for. And finally, we move on to what I believe is probably overall the best Joy-Con grips, just in sort of on the whole, as it were. There are still some major design flaws that we're gonna get into, um, but they are basically these ones. Now, these are very, very generic Joy-Con grips, and they don't seem to go by any particular brand in any way. I think the ones I had were by, uh, I still got the box down here, Mirian, but there's just, it literally is just a sticker over the original manufacturer's name, so really, I've seen these under so, so many different names, so really, it's difficult to call them anything, to be honest. I'm going to call them Mirian ones, because that's the one I, uh, let's just move on. Now, the most important thing about these is look at how chunky they are. You've got loads to really wrap your fingers around, and it's really comfy. It feels like holding a real controller, which is what you want from this kind of thing. So overall, from a pure comfort Comfort regard, it is definitely the best of the bunch. But unfortunately, there is one big problem, and again, it's the shoulder buttons. They sound awful, don't they? But it is not just about sounding awful. These are just, I mean, they're fine. But they're kind of loose. You can sort of see that there. Just generally, I think the biggest problem with this is the build quality. They're just churned out, mass market. They're the right shape, but they're not very thick. They're very hollow. They're very light as well. Extremely light, in fact, which um, I suppose you could probably get around by opening it up, which I've already done. I've already opened it up and uh, filling it full of sand. In fact, when I did open these up, I discovered that there isn't even a spring inside to, the, you know, spring load these triggers as it were. These one, this one, for example, just, just uses a simple button. It doesn't have any sort of spring-loaded mechanism in there, as far as I know. It just relies on the button springiness to do the springiness for you. But this one, no, it's spring-loaded, but with a bit of really low-density foam. I mean, you can't make it up. It is so cheaply made, they couldn't even afford a cheap plastic spring, or even a, you know, a metal spring. A tiny bit of wire going around, they couldn't even afford that, which is really, really cheap. But it is just so comfortable to hold. I mean, even on the right Joy-Cons, which I don't prefer, I prefer the left Joy-Cons, because the control stick's a little bit further over this way, um, it's still really comfortable to use, and I can use it for long periods of time, just because of how chunky this base bit at the bottom is and honestly that is the most important thing when it comes to these grips is how comfortable are they and in short these are the most comfortable again the uh, triggers at the top are a bit of a disappointment but they generally work fine it's just I just wish that there was a Joy-Con grip out there that ticked all the boxes and I know I know what that would be in my mind personally and uh, you know what, I'm going to tell you what it is. Basically I want this Joy-Con grip with this kind of build quality and to be honest I think the biggest thing is the triggers. On all of them the triggers have one big problem and that is the fact that they're hinged at the side so they go down like that and that means you end up with a lot of travel and also you have to sort of push inwards with your fingers like that. You have to use the ends of your fingers in order to press them down. And uh, that is not the case on the Joy-Cons themselves for the um, the actual ZL and ZR buttons. And indeed the Pro Controllers, in fact, I will show you, they're hinged at the front so they go down like that. And that means you can use any part of the finger and any part of the button in order to actually press those buttons down. And it works so, so much better than this. All in all then, the best ones that you can buy are these, unfortunately, despite the fact they are so low quality. It is a real shame that they are just so plastically and awful, but they do the job. They are comfortable to hold and the triggers are kind of wonky, but they're not that bad at the end of the day. I do wish they were better, but then again, you know, we're still in the early days, so I'm guessing in the future we could be seeing something very similar to this, but higher quality and much better overall, which would be lovely. So to sum up this, best if you're moving around because it's really, really small, doesn't take up any room at all really. This best if you've got children because, you know, smaller or you just want to be able to use it like a wheel turning it left and right feels very, very natural. This best if 
it, it's not the best, to be honest. It's probably the worst overall, because this surpasses it in every way. It's kind of like this is trying to be this, but trying to keep that slim form factor, and it's just, you know, it's just not worth it. It's not worth having the slimness in favor of this lovely, chunky, grippy bit at the back. So overall, best overall is this, pretty much. Yeah. If you want to pick up any of these grips, or indeed another, you know, Joy-Con wrist strap if you need another one, you can check the links in the description. They'll take you to the appropriate place where you need to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you grip around the back of that subscribe button really beautifully like that, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,